I can't have this in the video. It's there's some interesting stickers on there to say the least. Okay. So I was like, hmm, what can I film for YouTube? I mean, I'm stuck at home. Like, there's not really much I can do dancing wise at the moment. And I Googled like a Q&A for ballet dancers um, to kind of keep it dance related, even though I'm gonna start mixing in some normal stuff because I feel like doing that. Um, and I found this BuzzFeed like Q&A thing, questions we have for ballet dancers. There's 39 of them, so we're gonna see um, which ones we wanna answer. Probably won't do all of them, but let's do it. The first one is, do you watch dance movies? No. I, I do not, honestly. Maybe when I was younger. <laughs> no. No, maybe when I was younger because I have learned throughout the years that I need to have like a dance life and then a normal life separation. So like when I leave the building, I, I don't even call it work. Like when we were going into work for rehearsals and stuff, I wouldn't say, oh, I'm going to work. I would say, oh, I'm going to um, rehearsal or to class or whatever. So like it never felt like work, but I need to have that separation when I leave the building from rehearsal or whatever I'm doing. And then I go home. Yeah, sometimes I'll, <laughs> oh sometimes I will, um, like kind of watch certain videos like I'll be in the mood sometimes but for the most part I kind of like to go home and disconnect a little bit just so my mind can kind of take a break because you know it's a lot doing it all day long and rehearsing for several hours you get wor worn out mentally so I think to kind of keep yourself motivated and going and kind of have a nice mindset for it um I don't really like to do too much ballet related stuff at home if that makes sense like I'll listen to music and and watch documentaries and stuff about like music and stuff like that. The next question is, if so, do you love them or hate them? Uh, it kind of depends like on what the movie is. Like, um, it's like how accurate is center stage? Honestly, I haven't seen center stage in a while, but I do remember really liking that when I was younger. How accurate is Black Swan? Honestly, I've never seen Black Swan, so I could not tell you. I doubt it's very accurate at all. Question five, what do your feet look like? For those who know me, you know I have very wide feet. My feet aren't that terrible. They're just like really big and I, I, they're just not cute, period. So are you amazing at doing makeup? I can do my eyeliner and I can do my stage makeup um, however we have to do it because once you do it like for Nutcracker and stuff you just kind of know how to do it. I, I'm not like some beauty guru, guru or like a makeup youtuber or, or whatever i wish i was like really good at it but i do it i guess well enough so it looks decent on stage i don't know I, I don't know i just enjoy doing my eyeliner in like daily life like this this is about the only makeup i know how to do on a daily basis how many hours a day do you have to rehearse um it kind of depends on like what like you we were rehearsing or what ballet it is or what kind of rank you are in the company or what role you're doing it varies so you can either have from basically an hour a day not including class up to six hours a day um class is always an hour and 15 but that also varies in each company some companies do an hour and a half so it really just depends but like i said if it's like even nutcracker people think we're rehearsing all day when we're doing run-throughs of the ballet at least this is how it was at colorado ballet um when we're doing run-throughs of the ballet, yeah, we're there all day and a lot of us were in every show or every cast, so we would be dancing kind of non-stop and having to do multiple runs back to back, which was hard, but it honestly felt really good stamina-wise. Um, so it, it really just depends. And then if, you know, there were some times where we weren't rehearsing at all, so it just, it really depends. Sometimes we would just go in for class and that was, that was unfortunately it. So it, it really just depends, but for the most part, we're re rehearsing, we would rehearse a minimum of at least three hours a day, I would say, and then plus class on top of that. And then a lot of us would usually kind of go practice in the studio or kind of work on other things or film ourselves, whatever, get content. Uh, let's see. Okay, do you get classical music songs stuck in your head the way we all get pop music stuck in our heads? 
Yeah, like Nutcracker or, or stuff like that. It, Russian? Russian, yeah. <laughs> Kyla said Russian. I can't like really think of anything. Or like when we were doing Don Quixote, I would always get stuff stuck in my head. But that I didn't mind because I actually really like Don Quixote. But uh, most of us haven't really been doing any like ballet stuff right now. So um, not too often I would say more regular music would be stuck in my head versus ballet. But it just kind of de depended on what it was. How much does a professional ballerina get paid? Do you have to have another job as well as dancing? Um, it really varies from company to company and where the company is and like what rank you are or how long you've been in the company. Most, I will just say most dancers do have a side job just so they can have that extra money. Like a lot of the times in most like pretty good companies or like well-known companies, not even well-known, but kind of depending on which city you're living in, what they make off of the salary as a dancer, they can sustain themselves. But a lot of people will teach on the side or they'll do uh, just other things or they'll, you know, make videos or kind of teach fit fitness classes or whatever it is um, or do photography and just so they can kind of have some extra cash or to do whatever, you know, to put into savings or to just have fun and actually <laughs> live your life too. Reality of ballet. Why are you laughing? <laughs> This is why we don't cook. <laughs> oh my gosh, our cat is trying to get this. I, I swear, it's like I can't focus. Do you have cheat days where you can go out and eat McDonald's? Not McDonald's, please, not McDonald's. Oh my god. <laughs> why? Like, no. Um, or can you not afford to do that? No, we would always go out. Like, my friends would always go to City O City or Watercourse. They're two vegan restaurants in Denver. One is vegetarian vegan. And we would get like vegan burgers or vegan wings and stuff like that. So, and we would do that after shows, like during a show weekend. Like most people will <laughs> eat a lot after a show just cause we're, we need to refuel ourselves. I mean, food is fuel, so. Do you speak basic French because all the ballet terminology is French? <laughs> Oh my gosh, is this like a, oh, this is a Disney Channel gift. That's so funny. I don't know if it's going to focus. Um, I mean, no, we just know the ballet terminology and stuff like that. So, um, as long as you can understand what they're telling you in ballet class and what the step is, that's pretty much it. Are you really good at other types of dancing? No, I'm terrible. Seriously. Ballet is like the only thing I can kind of do. Um, it's, I, I mean, we do contemporary and stuff too, but like ballet is definitely my main, I guess, skill, I would say. Some people are, they can do like a range of things and I think that's really cool. Um, but a lot of the hardcore, I guess, ballet dancers, they've always have just focused on ballet, so. Do you all smoke? <laughs> no, I, most people don't. Maybe in Russia or Europe, I don't know. But um, here, or at least the people I know, most people don't. Um, I don't know. Some people do. <laughs> do any ballerinas actually wear ballet flats? <laughs> no! <laughs> I wear freaking Doc Martens and like, <laughs> and these. Is there such th such a thing as a ballet where no one dies? Yeah, the Nutcracker. Nobody dies in the Nutcracker, right? I'm confused. What happens if you're the lead and you hate the other lead and you have no chemistry? <laughs> I mean, it's just like acting in normal life. I mean. Like, I've never done a role like that, but you just have to kind of act and deal with it. Like, you're not actually doing it. It's acting. It's just, like, actors in the film industry. I don't know. Um, I mean, that is unfortunate. Um, it, I guess it's hard, yeah, and you kind of have to learn to just get past it, I guess. I don't know. Is there a lot of sexual tension when you're dancing with the opposite sex? No. 
Some of these questions I cannot answer. Rated R. I'm sorry, I wish I could answer these on here, but I don't think I can do that on my dance TV currently. You live in constant fear of breaking your leg. No. I mean, you can, there's, uh, there's other injuries that can, I mean, you'll sprain your ankle in ballet a lot easier than you would break your, break your leg. I feel like what scares me the most is like my knees. Yeah, I'm really worried about dislocating my knees. Yeah, same, because also I've seen too many I've people seen, do yeah, it. It's, it's and I have a knee issue currently and it's not doing too great. It's not like stable. So I feel like that scares me more. How many years does it take to become a professional ballerina? Again, I think that varies um like to each zone um i didn't join another company until i was what 18 and i started training seriously when i was 10 but i had been dancing since i was three or four so it, it just really depends on where you train how serious you are about it all of that and timing too timing's a big thing you can't always control that so keep that in mind how bad was the pain when you first started dancing on point? I don't remember it being that bad because I had like okay toe pads, but I remember one time because everybody was like, oh, they never used to wear toe pads um, in the past. So we all tried point without toe pads and we just used paper towels. And I, that was the worst point class of my life. And I got blisters, it was terrible. I don't know how dancers wear like freeds or stuff without toe pads i really don't know how you guys do it i mean i wear gainer mindens and i don't wear toe pads but that's a completely different story have you ever sabotaged another dancer like julian did in pedals on the wind one i don't even know what this movie or whatever it is is and no i think that's just terrible like if anybody did that at a competition or within a company i think that's just ridiculous like Come on, we're all trying to get to the same point, you know? How long is the usual career of a professional ball ballerina? Um, again, I think it depends on who you are, where you're dancing. A lot of people think it just, once you turn 40, you're done. But that's not the case. I think if you want to keep dancing past 40 and you're feeling great, you can still do everything, go for it. Or if you want to finish earlier and not you know it's kind of up to you it really just depends but it's it's not a long career at all honestly and by the time a lot of people go through the court ballet and whatnot so by the time you're if you do that or if you want to even get to those roles when you're doing soloists and principals you're not doing it for that long which is kind of unfortunate what is the hardest thing about being a professional ballerina gosh uh I don't even know. I mean, there's a lot of things that are hard about it, but I think a lot of us that do it like that it's hard. Probably just, um, I feel like the mental aspect, honestly, or feeling like you're not doing it well enough or like you're not good enough or you could always be better. I think that's the hardest part and I feel like that mentality needs to really change within the dance industry because I don't think that's how it should be. Um, at the end of the day, it's an art form and I think it should um, be respected and we should really enjoy it because it's not, we shouldn't feel miserable doing it if that makes sense. Um, but when we get to perform, it's awesome and you know, I love working hard. I like feeling like I kind of did something with myself and unfortunately right now with COVID and everything not many people well really no one has been able to kind of feel that recently so what's the best thing obviously I think being able to perform after all the rehearsals and everything getting on stage acting with the live music it's seeing the audience hearing the audience I think that's really the best part seems like such hard work did you ever have days growing up where you're like uh, maybe I'll just pick an easier career so I can stay in bed all day. Um, not necessarily thinking about picking an easier career, but I did. I mean, I think most people go through this. I have a little issue with my camera. It got too hot, but don't worry, we're good. I have a, just a few questions left. So we were talking about, have you ever thought about, yeah, all the time when I was younger. Not all the time, sorry. Uh, there were a couple times when I was like, this is 
way too hard and like I cannot see myself doing this every day like I don't want to do this anymore but then you would take time away from it and, and then even growing up or kind of getting into it kind of realizing that dancing is kind of freeing especially when you get out of school a little bit or start to kind of get older at least that's what I realized um, it didn't feel like work to me whereas most other jobs would have felt like work or they do you know um, I've worked normal jobs too so um, yeah it's I'm glad I stuck with it and I'm glad I am able to do it um, so but I think it's kind of normal to have thoughts like that it can be really hard especially when you're training and you're hard on yourself it's a lot so just kind of take a step back and realize if you need to kind of take a little break from it do it I think or even when I was injured and couldn't dance I was like I miss it like I need to be dancing uh, as much as I hate it sometimes it's kind of like a love-hate relationship and I think most ballet dancers can kind of relate to that but we at the end of the day we love it and I think we'll always love it um, even if you don't stick with it for very long you know it's kind of like a part of you uh, have you ever injured yourself really badly uh, I've sprained my ankle uh, in class a couple times <laughs> I've never had like a sudden injury kind of like other than that knock on wood um i had impingement in my left ankle when i was at ellison i was out for four weeks that was really painful i was in a boot and then it took me like nine weeks total including the four weeks off to come back um i've had just some minor injuries but we all have injuries that we push through daily so um that's pretty much all i remember that's like really one of the only serious injuries where I've been out for a really long time, so it's not fun. Do you live in fear that your dancing partner will F up and injure you? Oh. <laughs> I mean, like, you kind of can't really be scared because you can't show on stage. Mm -hmm. And also, most of the people you're dancing with know what they're doing because we've all been doing it for a while. Maybe more so in school, a lot of us would kind of think about that. And that goes both sides, guy or girl. Um, that's kind of that's kind of a funny question but yeah on stage you can't show so no matter how you feel you can't show that you're like afraid if you are and finally are you human or are you a dancer <laughs> I, human like I mean yeah I'm a dancer too but that's I mean like I said before yeah it is a part of us and it is it is kind of what makes us who we are I guess but at the end of the day, we're all human, we're not robots, so keep that in mind too. And this kind of relates to another kind of topic that I've, I've been wanting to think about, so, or make a video about kind of like dance is my alter ego, so I'm gonna come up with something related to that, so stay tuned. Um, this is actually kind of fun. I couldn't answer all of them because some of the questions were a little interesting. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, I will See you guys in my next video, whatever that may be. Hope you guys are all staying safe right now. Bye! Side note, this BuzzFeed thing was from like 2015, so these questions are pretty old. It was just the first thing that popped up. Um, yeah, still have fun with it. We'll see uh, how this goes over. <laughs>